All right, everyone, make it happen Monday. Whatever happened last week, that's last week. Today's today. Monday's a start. If you messed up, had a little negativity, maybe you pounded back a couple of Snickers you shouldn't have, hey, that's fine. That was last week. Today's today. You can change it, make it happen, keep it focused. Anytime you got something, those of you in classes, you're thinking, man, I can't do this, cut it out. Get that negativity out of your head. The moment you start putting the dark negativity in your head, it's like just pounding back Snickers. It ain't going to do nothing for your life. Nothing at all. I'll tell you what, just, just go to the gym. You don't even got to do nothing. Just go to the gym, walk around. Just keep, just go there. That's all you got to do. Baby steps, like I said last time, baby steps, people. You'll make it happen. Don't worry about it. Also, this is just me personally. I just want to say thank you. Um, anytime I've had any trouble, any uh, negativity that clicked in my head, anytime I was down, anytime I was stressed out, there's been two communities of people on social media, whether I know them personally or I only know them through social media. I just want to say thank you to the two groups, communities, whatever you want to call them. Those of the motorcycle groups, the motorcycle community, um, whether or not they're in clubs is irrelevant. Half of them, I don't know. But those of you in the motorcycle community, you have given me a lot of positive uh a lot of positive words of encouragement. You've been there for me. You've been supportive. You've been encouraging in many ways and told me, hey, keep it pushing. Don't let things get you down. Just keep going through. I just want to say thank you to you guys. But also, I definitely want to say thank you to, I don't even know what you call this community. I guess it's the uh, well-dressed community, those who like suits and whatnot. Because I tell you what, every time one of these men post a picture, you go to look at it, like, no one's giving them negativity. There's opinions, but most of the time it's like, it's still good. You know, you're still looking fresh, still looking nice. Just like filling every little bit of the social media with positivity. I got to tell you, you guys that are in the motorcycle community, as well as those well-dressed uh, suits, the really nice sweaters and whatnot, both communities, y'all really got to get into, get a part of, just talk to these people. They're amazing. Who you, you know, there's a, there, there's a thing about like, uh, you're a product of your environment. Whoever your friends are is a reflection of you. And there was a saying, I can't remember who said it, but they said, show me who your friends are and I'll show you who you are. And, you know, if you're looking for positive people, you're looking for people that make you laugh. Oh my God, there's a, there was a guy named Jimmy on Instagram. This guy cannot post something that is either not uh, touching or hilarious. It's, it's, it's always there. Um, you've really helped me out, man. There's plenty of days you crack me up. I love it. But like you really got to surround yourself or get yourself in some sort of environment of positive thinking people. I don't care if it's social media. I don't care if it's real life. You know, it's so much easier to connect on social media. Do it. I have heard of, and, and I still think it's a little weird, but I have heard of people creating actual genuine friendships off video games. And, and you know, I see uh, the social media thing for one of the colleges I was at. There's people like, man, I need someone to hang out with. I feel all alone. I don't have anyone to talk to. Let me tell you right now. Go on Instagram. Look at the bikers. And then look at the uh, little, the suits, gentlemen groups, uh, well-dressed, the ones who like uh, tailored outfits or whatever. Just you want to dress nice, but more formal looking. Maybe you want to go with something a little antique, maybe something a little just classic, 50s, 60s, whatever it is. Go to these groups. These are, like I said, positive thinking people. You're going through a hard time. I can guarantee you there is someone who has been in the military, someone who has endured some sort of hardship in life, something, if not in uh, the suit community, definitely in the motorcycle community, and often it's both. Everyone is always going through something. But these same groups, they teach you, hey, this is how you get through it. Keep your head straight. Don't let the negativity pull you down. 
I, there's ebbs and flows, people, ups and downs. And you want to surround yourself with people that keep their head straight. Learn from them. If you feel like you're alone, you're down, just talk to someone. Try to get a new perspective on things. If you feel like, man, I can't catch a break. I can't figure it out. I don't know what's going on. Cut it out right now and think, what am I thinking? What am I putting into my head? But also, maybe it's a perception, like I said, that the, the, the perspective that you're putting out, that you're, you're looking at things, it can seriously damage whatever you're seeing in the world. You may not be a bad person. You may be a fantastic person. You may have great life. You may have a terrible life. I don't know. But I'm telling you right now, you need people to give you positivity. You need people to put it in perspective. These are groups you want to kind of get some energy off of. Put out that good energy. Get that good energy back. Don't be negative. If you're wrong, admit to your being wrong. Admit to mistakes. Be accountable. But also keep pushing forward. We've all done stuff we're not proud of. We've all said stuff we're not proud of. We have good and bad in our lives. The thing that matters most, it's like they say, it's not how many times you get knocked down, it's how many times you get back up. And when you get back up, you make sure you come back with your head straight. Because if you don't get it straight, you're just going to keep getting knocked down. The same thing's going to be repetitive. We ain't doing that repetitive thing no more. It's 2022. There's too much technology in the hand of your, like just right there, the entire span of human knowledge. Don't wait for a second. If there's a, a concept, a, a perception, something that you can't figure out, start asking people. In fact, I'll tell you right now, go grab a book, go to the self-help section. Because I'll tell you, I, I made a video talking about this. You know, I thought self-help section was for the weak. I thought it was for, for people who are foolish. I've got so many self-help in my, like books in my uh my Audible, it's incredible, people. Just go there, start reading. You don't like reading? Well, go there, start reading anyways. I've seen a mass difference, and this is just anecdotal, with people I've known who are just miserable, can't figure it out, nothing. They don't search for the answers. You got to search for the answers, people. And part of that is, is making sure your environment's well. You can't plant a seed in, in a poor soil and expect a beautiful tree to come up. So you got to make sure the soil, your group, your, you know, pe your influence, the, the uh, people having an effect on you, make sure they're positive people. Make sure they're people that hold you accountable as well. Because a best friend is not going to be sitting in the back of a police car. A best friend is going to hold you accountable for your stupidity and try to teach you to be better. Best friend isn't there sitting with you being stupid. That's a bad influence. A best friend's going to tell you, hey, this needs to stop. Maybe they messed up. They're like, hey, we got to get this taken care of. No matter how old you are, it don't matter. I'm not even joking with you right now. My mother has been talking to me about going to um, like, like yard sales. I was just watching Gary V about yard sales. My mother's hitting me up about yard sales. I didn't ever talk to her about Gary V. She's hitting me up about yard sales. Hey, how do I do this? How do I get PayPal? How do I get money here? I'm just or, uh, eBay and stuff like that. Like, it, it don't matter, y'all. It's 2022. It's time to get it. It don't matter if you're young, you're old. You got to get out there and get it. If you don't know how to get it, search for the answers. Do not stop. Do not give up. And for the life of you, do not put bad stuff in your body or in your brain. Y'all have a great one. I'm proud of you and I love every one of you.